Okay, on these last two, we got to take 2, plug it into G, get that answer, and plug that into F. You always work from the inside out. So G just says your input squared minus 1. So if I rewrite the inside, which is G, input squared minus 1. The input's what's in the parentheses of 2, so i got to go 2 squared minus 1. Well, 2 squared is 4, minus 1 is 3. So the whole inside in blue simplifies down to 3. So now i got to take that answer and plug it into F. Well, F says 3 times input squared plus 7 times input, with my input being this blue 3. So that's got to go in for each one of my inputs. Well, now I can work this out. A3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27 plus a7 times 3, which is a 21. We add these together and we get 48. <clears throat> Looking at the other one over here, once again, we've got to go from the inside out. The outside function is g. The inside is f. f says 3 times input squared plus 7 times input. So 3 times input squared plus 7 times input. In this case, our input is what's in our parentheses, the 5. So I've got to put a 5 in for each spot. Huh. Well, now I can work this out. 5 squared is 25 times 3 is 75 plus 5 times 7 is 35. I add that together, I get 110. That's the whole inside. Now I've got to plug that into G. G just says your input squared minus 1. Input squared minus 1. My input is that 110. So i got to plug that in there. Take 110 squared minus 1, and I get 12,099.